Welcome to the We've Been Drinking MMA Podcast. We're, we're going to be talking about the UFC Fight Night 221 co-main event uh, between Alexander Volkov and Alexander Romanov. I'm going Alexander Romanov by... I'm going to... Just in the distance. I don't know, really know. KO or submission, but one of the two. And um, I am going with, actually this is another fight where I'm going with, I think it's going to go the distance, just because uh, normally I would pick Romanov, um, but his uh, last fight, he just looked like he might have been injured, and I just don't know if it's a long-term injury. Um, but no, uh, you know, his normal thing is he, he has uh, five takedowns per fight, and Volkov uh, is a stand-up fighter. And he got taken down at will and just held down by Curtis Blades for five rounds. Um, and uh, it's just one of those things. He got submitted two fights ago as well. So Volkov just is still susceptible to getting taken down and submitted and uh, held down, in our opinion, my opinion. So it's it's a slight edge to Romanov for me. And then and then the reason I think it's going uh, – the only reason I'm really going with the distance bet that's going to go all three rounds is because I'm not sure in his last fight against Tyburo, Romanov just looked – injured he, he was hunching over for his takedowns couldn't really get takedowns it looked horrible um i just hope he's doing better uh if he is doing good he, he he'll just run through volkov um so volkov is 34 years old and romanov is 32 so romanov is the fresher guy younger guy so um you know volkov does have a five inch reach advantage and 4.8 significant strikes per minute and romanov has 3.7 but i'm telling you two fights ago when uh, romanov was fighting uh chase um, uh, Jared Vandera, he was three fights ago. He, he uh, submitted his second last fight in like two minutes, so that's how good he is on the ground. But three fights ago, he fought uh, Jared um, Vandera, and I'm telling you, man, all of his strikes looked super solid, fast. Uh, he was doing whatever he wanted, dynamic when he was uh, make foot, his footwork was really good, and he would come forward and he was just smart. Uh, head was in the right place, wasn't getting hit. Takedowns were amazing, very fast, very dynamic with the wrestling. So yeah, if that guy shows up, it's an easy win for him. I feel. Um, the only way Volkov wins this fight is because of his leverage with his punches, because he is six seven. He's a six seven heavyweight that throws down. So if he can use his leverage with his striking and keep it on his feet, he's probably gonna win this fight. So in the distance is probably a reasonable bet in this because Romanov is going to take him down if he's going to win this fight. And Volkov is going to win this fight if he's able to keep it up. So, so and then um, uh, the over, I think, is uh, it's for uh, just to go over one round is, pl- is minus 180. So you're getting, a, you're getting a really good price if you are betting on it going just more than one round. That's what I'm going to do. You know, spend 180 to make 100. And uh, I think it, I think it at least goes at least more than one round. But you never know. I mean, if uh, Romanov, sh- <laughs> yeah, it's heavyweight, so you never quite know. That's why it's, it, I'm going for uh, a smaller bet, just because I'm not sure which Romanov is going to show up. So that's my prediction. And uh, thanks for listening, guys. Thanks, guys.